God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also greet you in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. And may the peace of God continue to be with you. We're in the year of walking with God. This last month that we have just concluded was the Uyumu month of transformation. Si kwa now we're in July. This is the month of having a, a, a This is the month of uh, slavery Clap your hands to your God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the month where slavery is going to be removed from us. In this week that we've started this week that we started on Tuesday, we saw the theme, you're not alone. These are the words that we talked about on Tuesday, where we saw there are many things that we forgot and caused us to seem like we do not have a God. But God reminded us on Tuesday that we have to separate, be separated from fear. Our God is still alive. He has never changed. And in Psalm chapter 23, Psalm, Psalm 23 says that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Which means there's no reason for fear. Another thing we saw on Tuesday is that he is a God that does not lie. What he said over your life, what he said over my life, you will come to pass, he does not lie. We saw how Jacob left his home, leaving and fleeing from his brother. He went empty handed. He had no wealth. Other than the word he received from God that go, I will be with you. And I will bring you back to this nation. We saw after a long time that he was in a foreign land. God came to, came to bring that word to pass. And then he came back home with a family. He went with no child. He came back with wives and children. He went with no wealth. But he came back with livestock. What God has spoken over your life, he does not lie. He will bring it to pass. Amen. 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 The third thing we saw on Tuesday, we saw that our God is in us. You are the temple of the Almighty God. Which means that the, the heart is the temple of the Most High. That is where God lives. That is where He is. If you can have a house and care for it, God can care for you. Because He lives in you. He will give you everything that you need. So that his house can be well. You're not alone. That is what we saw on Tuesday. On Friday, we entered into this, theme, this month's theme where we saw the theme you know the slavery that is upon you. We understood the meaning of the word slavery. And we saw that slavery is not having your rights. To have your rights taken from you. This is what slavery means. We also saw the root of slavery upon you. You cannot go along your path and, and it comes to you. No. It has a source. We saw this on Tuesday. We saw how, it, how the slavery leaves you. We saw that there's nothing else that removes slavery other than God himself. I can say that is able to take it away from you because you cannot see it. It is not apparent. There's no sign that says oh, this person is under slavery. No. It is in the spirit. Only God is able to remove it Hallelujah. from you. Hallelujah. This is what we saw this week. Today, 
We're going to see words that say understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Ask your neighbor, do you know who you are in the kingdom of God? Ask them if they understand. Who do you know? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They respond. They respond that they know. If, if they know or they not, let us see this together. Let us read the word in Exodus. Chapter 1. We'll start from verse 8. Till verse 12. Exodus chapter 1. From verse 8 to verse 12. Then a new king to whom draws, then a new king, king to whom Joseph meant nothing to came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. They are more than us. Come we must deal shrewdly, shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if war breaks, breaks out we'll join our enemies. Fight against us and leave the country. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor. They built, they built Python and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. Amen. Amen. Let us clap our hands to our God. Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. This is a story of when the Israelites had gone to the nation of Egypt. They had followed Joseph. Because there's, there, there was hunger in their country. Based on the good hand of God that was upon Joseph, he, was, he received uh, favor before the Pharaoh. And it caused his people to follow him there. But because of how we know how the story went, time came and Joseph passed away. And all his siblings. And only the, the descendants were the ones that remained. They remained in that country. After that, there was a new king who came who did not know who Joseph was. This is, this is when the problem started over the people of Israel. Because there's a new king who came and had no information on what had happened. What did he do? He started to find a way he could exhaust the people of Israel. He started to plan bad things for them. Brethren, those Israelites they were in a nation that was not theirs they had, they had not done anything to that king but God had put a fear upon them so when the king would look at them he would think about them that is how you are in the, in the spiritual realm when the enemy looks at you he starts to see the mighty things in you 
strategy. strategy. He starts to put up strategies and, with, and, and, and things that can exhaust you. Where slavery came from, it came from the fear of the king. And he thought, uh, he thought about other people who had nothing about them. Let us understand who we are in the kingdom of God. You are a powerful person in the kingdom of God. However you see yourself, you are a powerful person. When the kingdom of darkness looks at you, they get scared. Hallelujah. We're in the kingdom of God. Those in the kingdom of darkness, they're afraid of you. Hallelujah. 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 Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. We're going to see a few things that help us. You'll understand well how you ought to carry yourself. Because you're a person to not be Hallelujah. with. Hallelujah. The first thing we'll see I want to tell you that you scare the devil. Know that you scare the devil. You scare the devil. Even though you despise yourself and you feel that you're victorious, you scare the devil. And you ask yourself how. In verse 9, in chapter 1, in chapter 1, in chapter 1, he said the king brought his people and he started telling them the way he sees that, that people are powerful. He started telling them the way he will, they will fight against him and remove him from that country. If we compare, is it how it was? That was not the case. But the way they saw him, the way he saw those people, he started seeing them as powerful People. He started seeing but them as people who are threats and who come together with his enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan that is how the devil sees you. Satan that is how the devil sees you. Data. Brethren, don't see yourself as someone who has been worn out. out. That he stopped you from getting Uru up and down. You are a powerful person in the kingdom of God. I think that will show you that you are powerful in the kingdom of God. God and will make, you, no, make him scared of you is the plan that he has, that God has. The devil knows that in the kingdom of God there is a plan that God has for you. He has no plan for you. But our God when he created you and when he created me there is a plan he has for us. He has a plan for us of what we ought to do. Whether you know it or not whether you know it or not, value it, I want to tell you, you ought to understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Let us read in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. This will tell you who you are. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. No kubika, kubaka, no guteri mbuto. Amen. Amen. Verse 10. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and, over, and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Amen. Let us clap our hands to our God. Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of darkness can see you and understand who you are. The servants of the devil, when they look at you, when they see someone who has a spirit of God, they know them. And they understand that they are a powerful person in the kingdom of God. And that is the case. Hear the word of God. You are appointed. The plan that, the plan that God appointed you for. You are coming on this earth. You are appointed to be up top. Over the nation. You are put up to be over the kingdom of darkness. You are appointed to be over the powers of the devil. For what to happen is to, to uproot. 
Hallelujah. It is to approach the kingdom of darkness. It is not to just cut. No. It is to approach the power that is in you. Can shake the powers of the devil. And it can approach the roots. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It approaches the powers of the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other thing is to tear down. When you tear down, there's nothing that is put about anything. It removes everything. The powers of darkness know very well when that demon comes before you and you say in the name of Jesus, the kingdom is shaken and it's torn down. Only one word from you can chase thousands of demons. This is who you are. Do you see who you are? The other thing that God puts you up is to totally destroy. It is to totally destroy. To destroy. Repeat to destroy. To destroy. To, o- to, to uh, overthrow. When all of this happens, nothing remains. Hallelujah. It's empty. Hallelujah. When now it's empty, you also to plant. You have to plant what you want to see that is in the line with who you are. That is who you are. Amen. You don't understand. Because you do not see it in the spirit. This is what God has appointed you to do. This is why God has appointed you. This is the plan over your life. It is to fight against the powers of darkness. And we have been given powers to overcome. That is why God put you this power. Understand who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell me that kind of person that is like you. When you see them as a devil, the kingdom of God sees a person like you. They cannot sit. The devil cannot sit. Because you have filled up all these things, you are a powerful person. The servant of God in the first service showed us who a true soldier of Christ is. The, the people that they put, you are powerful in the kingdom of darkness, in the spiritual world. The enemy cannot leave you. That is why he attacks you. That is why he puts powers to exhaust you, so that he discourages you. Hallelujah. He has been afraid of you. Hallelujah. You are powerful. And they say this person, they continue to be like, he will remove me. He will approve me. Because he is an extraordinary person. Hallelujah. He puts strategies to wear you down. The way that kids He tried to find something to wear them down. So that they do not continue to uh, become Hallelujah. Brethren, understand who you are. The kingdom of darkness is afraid of you. That is why our God has put this man to his servants. He said this is a month where the slavery is going to be put away. The slavery that the devil put on you and wants to discourage you. This man, the Almighty God is ready to remove it. Hallelujah. God is, re- is ready to remove you from it. And he will partner with you. This month is a month of the it's not to be comfortable, no. God is ready. The word of God tells us in the weapons that you use to fight that will come against Hallelujah. the nations. Hallelujah. The slavery that comes against your family, God will use you to remove it. In this month, the slavery that has come upon your family, the God in heaven partnering with you wants to be your protector so that it leaves forever. The slavery of other countries, the one that came over the country, no one else will remove 
it is you that God is ready to use. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understand that you are from the kingdom of heaven. You are a powerful person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you are a powerful person. Tell, that, tell them that the kingdom of darkness is afraid of you. That the kingdom of darkness is afraid of you. The second thing that you ought to know in understanding who you are hallelujah is that you are a powerful person you are a powerful person you can say that you hear this word often or you always read it that is how it is you are a powerful person you are a powerful person tell your neighbor how are you you powerful person read them and tell them how are you you powerful person you are a powerful person, hallelujah. Tell them in the kingdom of heaven we are powerful, hallelujah. We are not normal people. We are a powerful person, people in the kingdom of heaven. Brethren, this king said, let us learn. Let us learn. Let us find ways because he saw that they were powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These people were, were wise. God had given the people of Israel wisdom. Even until today, they are very smart. They are wise. They are powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truly, their wisdom is what they used to build Egypt with their own hands. They saw that it was extraordinary things. They saw it was supernatural power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, those that the devil fights, it's not the weak people. It is not the weak people. Brethren, the ones that the devil puts on the slavery, these are not weak people. Look at your family. Look at yourself. Who does the enemy come against? It's the ones that are smart. It's the ones that have wisdom. It's the ones that are useful in, the, in your family. The ones that you put your hope in. That you thought that they we will rest with the family. That is the one that the devil fights against more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the one that the devil comes after so that they hurt you, you, at you so that he wears you down. The way you are is not the way you're supposed to be. You are powerful you're people. You're supposed to have attained powerful things. The wisdom that is in you is extraordinary. The blessing that is upon you is powerful. The devil does not fight against you for nothing. There's something that is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are powerful. Clap your hands to your God. Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see this. You will see this. You will sit in your family. Or you sit in the nation. People who have diplomas of a diploma. They're the ones who are unemployed. They're the ones who are roaming around. And yet they're smart. Yet they they have wisdom. But they do not have work. And they beg. Yet they have numerous diplomas. They have ability. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see this. If they, have a, if they receive a blessing of getting a job and receive money, they ought to help the family and be useful to the church, the country, and the family. If they sometimes they become alcoholics and you find that what they received as a blessing is useless, that is slavery. The devil does not find they see the power that is in them that will change they see the power that is in them that will be useful to many hallelujah, hallelujah. you are powerful you are powerful when we read in Judges 
see how the devil came against Gideon and convinced him that he was a weak person. In Judges chapter 6. In Judges chapter 6. We'll start from verse 12. We'll read from verse 12 to verse 14. Malaika uiteka aramubo nechira. Aramubo girati. Uiteka arikumge nawe wa mwenye imbaragawe. Uchira nubo tukwari. The word says in verse 12, When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, you mighty warrior. Verse 13. Gideon aramubo subizati. Mutukwari. Ni uiteka arikumge natukwe. Ni chiji tuma. Verse 13 says, Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, But if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of Midian. Verse 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here God was telling Gideon. When we see things have fallen apart, we start to see ourselves as weak. And we see that things have failed. And we start justifying to God the reason why failing. Here Gideon started telling God how they were defeated. That they are not able to. The reason the word of God came to him. That cannot happen or come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are powerful. What did God respond to him? God told him, go in the strength that you he have. He looked at him. He first looked at him. And then told him, go in the strength that you have. Brethren, understand who you are. The Almighty is looking at you and saying, the Almighty is looking at you and saying, that you're the one who will remove the slavery in your life. That you'll finish the slavery. And took over your family. Don't look at yourself as you are today. The slavery that is upon you. Where you see. That whatever you do, the poverty that is on you cannot leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then they see your business which you know he can go home but you have to not have a fit to come in being gonna almost a cool to all around movie home ball that the business that you have always falls into a loss day after day you see losses I can quit it can you copy the show book shows you that it is impossible I can quit it can you can have to walk or shows you that there's nothing that you can do I can quit it can you call shows you that it is finished I can quit it can go home get in but I want to tell you so I want to chill one or you have a movie game and that's not who you you are powerful. You are powerful. You are powerful. That is why the devil has fought against you. That is why he has fought against you. That is why he fought you. Up until this moment. He knows that your marriage will be powerful. That is why he fought against you. Up until today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is not that you are weak. You are powerful. He sees you the kingdom of God. And he sees that your family will bring deliverance in your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of that he delays it. He shakes it. He exhausts it. He sees that the children that will come from you will be powerful children. He will be able to to fight him on a higher level. Hallelujah. Then afterwards he comes and after a 
children. And then he wears it out. The enemy knows. You ought to also understand who you are. Where you've been taken by sorrow. Where you've been taken by complaints. Where you've been taken by the powers that come against you. You feel weak. Stop accepting to be one now. In this month for the Almighty God. He is ready to remove that slavery. So that the power of God can be evident. Hallelujah. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Hoya. No. You are a powerful person in the kingdom of God. You are powerful. All form of trial over your life is that you're not weak. It's not that you're not able to. You have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of power in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power that you use is a lot. It's trying to show you that there's nothing that is not useful. But I want to show you today. In this month, what's is going to be you will know who you are in the kingdom of God. That you are powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor once more that you are powerful. That stop complaining. Stop complaining. Stop getting tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your children will be powerful. They will bring down nations. They will bring down the kingdom of the devil in the near future. Hallelujah. You are powerful. Stop accepting to be defeated. Stop accepting to be defeated. Hallelujah. Don't allow to be worn out. Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The third thing is the devil will not be able to overcome you. The devil will never be able to overcome you. Clap your hands to your God. The devil will not be able to overcome you. This king brought upon them slavery. Day and night. The slavery continued to increase. Slavery continued to increase day after day. But what happened to the people of Israel? They continued to be fruitful and multiply and to spread. They continued to become numerous and to spread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They multiplied. And yet they were under slavery. He knew to wear them out and force them to labor is what will cause them to, 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 to become scarce. The people of God let us glorify God. Our God is a mighty God. Look at all the works of the enemy of your life from your birth. Let us speak the truth. Let us speak the truth. Go, go to your mother and she'll tell you what happened to her when she was pregnant She'll explain to you well. The nine months where you don't know. Start from where you are at. You understood the difference between good and bad. Hallelujah. Remember what you've gone through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're, we're not supposed to be alive. We're supposed to, to be dead by now. We're supposed to have been. The enemy is supposed to have finished Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. 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 A powerful God, brethren. The more he continued to pour the more continue to multiply. They continue to multiply. And they would spread. They would be beaten. They would be starved. They were, they were to be they, they were worn out. But the Almighty God would multiply them and they would spread over the hills. How is this possible? This is how God works for you. 
There is what God does for you. Hallelujah. 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 That is what God does over your life. Day and night. The enemy must have already overcome you. By the hands all the accidents, the numerous. Remember the sickness that took you. All that you, you held by those were sick. You go into the hospital, thinking that you're not going to go home. But when you went home, brethren, remember the times that came against your twelve, wanting to remove you. But God will give you promotion. More about every other promotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember. Remember. They continue to multiply. They will continue to spread. Hallelujah. Our God is a faithful God. He's a God of love. He's a powerful God. Think. Tell your neighbor you, nothing will happen to you. How many times the enemy wanted to remove you from salvation? How many times he wanted to cause you sin that you may fall, that you leave salvation? But God did not allow. You are a powerful servant of God. He put traps, he put traps before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today you are powerful servant of God. What he wanted is to remove you from salvation and you leave. But today you speak and many receive salvation. You have the word of comfort. You have testimony. You can tell other people. I tell them what Jesus did for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren. The more slavery you continue to increase, is the more you continue to multiply. I want to tell you, hallelujah, death can't take you, because if you are able to be able to than God, you will be finished by now. You will not even be remembered, and you will not, you will not be remembered. The devil cannot overcome you, the enemy cannot Understand who you are in the kingdom of God. Do not be scared of his slavery at this moment. God has seen it. And I know very well the devil cannot overcome you. Together with our Jesus, the one we have a hope in, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors, are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. We are more than conquerors in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell the devil. Where, where was? Where in the night? But tonight, today, the slavery that you said to me has been removed in this month. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to that God. That God that causes you to multiply. That God that re refused for you to die. But instead you are alive day and night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is our God. He is the one that is ready to remove that slavery in this month of July. It is the month of slavery being removed from us. It is the month of slavery being removed from us. Understand who you are. You are a powerful person in the kingdom of God. You are someone that the devil is afraid of. He sees you and is afraid of you. When he's afraid of you, he wants to wear you down. But you're not allowed to be worn down. I understand that you are a powerful person. God has looked at you and seen that you are powerful. And it is you who will remove slavery of tomorrow in your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God knows very well that the devil cannot finish you. But he continues to multiply. And continue to give you step after step. Don't worry. You will enter into it. Even though he finished it, even though he tried to finish it, he wanted to finish to destroy your wedding and continue to dilute it and change it however he wants. This man is the month of putting a stop to his life. Hallelujah. 
This is a month of finishing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the month of finishing slavery that is over our lives and in our families and over our country as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to stand. We are going to pray. I want to tell you the way that God is going to work in removing slavery. There's no one else. It is you. It is you and the weapons that God will use. You are the weapons that God will use so that he will break down the nation. You are the weapons that God will use so that he removes the slavery over you. You are the weapons that God will use so that so that he will remove slavery with your family. The weapons that God will use so that everything is removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to raise our voices. If you know the slavery that is upon you, that you have understood who you are in the kingdom of God, I want to tell you, never again be afraid. Know that you are powerful. Enter into war and fight. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be a fearful soldier. We are soldiers. We are soldiers. We are a powerful army in the kingdom of God. There's no soldier that goes back. There's no soldier that goes back. There's no soldier that is afraid. We've seen things that show us that we to be afraid. We're going to raise our voices and pray and tell God, I now understand that I am a powerful person in your kingdom. What the, what the enemy has put in the world that wore out my life, that wore out my family, that wore out the church, that wore out the nation, everything by your power. Power, because you're the one who enables us, us. Let everything be put down. Let us pray. Almighty God, raise your voice and pray. You are powerful. The power that God has given you. Almighty God, raise your voice and pray. Almighty God, God of grace, we are before your presence. We understand we are powerful people in your kingdom. The one that you, the kingdom of God. It's not that we are weak. We are powerful. We have come to your power. And your word. In Philippians 4. I that I can do everything to Christ who gives me strength. You are the one who enables us. That we may be able to walk the power of the devil. We remove slavery. That the enemy put over us. In the name of Jesus. The slavery of our lives. The slavery of our families. The slavery of our nation. Over the church, in the name of Jesus, everything that we remove it because of the Lord, because you're mighty God, you're God of power and authority and ability. We stand with you, we are more than conquerors. That is why I remove, we remove every form of slavery that the enemies put over us. Pray, brethren, raise your voice. Remove that slavery. Every slavery of sickness. Every slavery of poverty. Remove that slavery from yourself. Alcoholism that is in your family. And employment. Poverty. All of that is slavery. That the enemy is put over you. So that he may warn you down. We know very well that you are a powerful person. That you are a powerful person. That and will turn down. Pray. Pray with power. And remove all those powers. Remove. Separate yourself from that slavery. Say that he will not overcome you. He will not overcome you. Tell him that he will not overcome you. Tell him that you will enter into your marriage. Tell him that you will enter into your marriage. Tell him that you will, enter into your marriage. Tell him that you will not leave. Not leave. That you will not go out of it, even though they wear you out. That you will not leave that father marriage. No, that you will not leave that marriage. That we are standing on it. That you will not leave that marriage. That we are wearing you down. But you will not, you will not. 
We have another way. We have another way. We come and go to God. They will not wear you down. Let us clap our hands again for our Lord. 